I ever forget a shell command, let's say I want to convert this MP3 to a WAV and it'll give me the right command to in my terminal. Really easy, so I don't have to remember long commands anymore. Hey friends, I hope you like this edited clip from my stream. I'm showing this tool LLM, which is really useful for software developers to remember commands in the terminal and also to just use LLMs in the terminal really fast. I also have one for just basic chat, like what is the furthest planet from Earth. I don't know, some random question. I don't know if it'll do it from our solar system, but yeah. Um, hope you enjoy it. So at the moment, I'm using Shell GPT, which is good. I just have some small issues with Shell GPT or like, not really issues, but there's some things that I think make LLM better than Shell GPT. Shell GPT has more stars, which is really cool. And just to quickly show you what kind of these tools do, I have Shell GPT set up with an alias so I can like ask for any shell command. So pretty much like split file dot mp3 at the one hour mark like if i had a really long mp3 file i could just say like split this file into the one hour mark and it gives me the ffmpeg command to run it and i can just press e to execute that it's really cool like so i don't have to remember this whole thing one thing is it's meant to know that i'm on powershell etc and write the code for that but it keeps giving me this and and notation which doesn't work in powershell that's one annoying thing the other annoying thing the other thing is like if i abort this it like removes the like i have to manually copy paste this whereas i think i'm not sure about this but i think llm will actually pre-fill my input so i can manually go and be like okay well this will work if i just change this to a semicolon and llm makes it really easy to change your model as well i think like with dash m like llm dash mistral you can use llm dash whatever just change the model um and whereas shell gpt i'm pretty sure you had to actually go into the config file and change the model um, by changing the value in a file so that was Hello. kind of annoying all right simon w's llm let's install it how do we do that you can use brew or pip i'm going to use pip pip install llm Getting started, if you have an OpenAI API key, you can get started using OpenAI right away. But I want to use Grok. So, um, we can scroll down to the plugins, or scroll up. This LLM plugin directory here. Here is like where we can extend it, and they have LLM Grok. Excellent, so how do we do that? LLM install LLM Grok, that's really easy, so we just paste that. LLM install LLM Grok. And then we have to set the keys manually. That's a bit annoying. Now let me do that off stream. So you have to set the keys. And then how do we use it? Like this. Sassy name for a pet Sasquatch. Okay, that's how you chat with it. How do we do shell commands here? So the shell thing is probably a plugin. Here. Accepts a prop for a shell command. Yes. LLM CMD. LLM install LLM CMD. Okay, we're installing LLM CMD. So now hopefully we can, let's use it with Grok. Uh, okay, maybe we need to do LLM CMD last git commit dash M Grok. Does that work? Oh, sick. And yes, it actually puts it in the input so I can edit it. Perfect. Nice. All right, now let's add some aliases so I can make this a lot easier without me having to type a whole lot of stuff. All right, so check out my profile. Um, so this is kind of like the PowerShell version of like a bash RC. And it's so annoying to run aliases. Like you have to do a whole function like this. So if we look at my shell GPT um, here, shell GPT shorthand, invoke shell GPT. Let's copy and paste that. We're going to call this LLM Grok shell, all the alias. I want to call this S, okay, this Llama 370B. Okay, now, hopefully, if I just type S and then get last git diff or something, it will do the shell command with Grok Llama 70B. Yes, excellent. All right, we have that. Let's also make one for just normal chat, write a 900 word poem. And there we go. Grok is in my terminal writing a 900 word poem super fast. Um, that was a quick tutorial. I, I might have missed something, but you can really easily set up commands so I can quickly ask 
an LLM something like how do I eat an apple and it should quickly respond and because I'm using grok this is super fast and I can also use it to remember shell commands if I forget a shell command I can I have s as my alias and I'll be like um, how to commit only text.jpg or something and it will give me the shell command I need to run that. Awesome, and it actually knows PowerShell, so it doesn't give me the and and. That's another issue I had with Shell GPT. So now I can uninstall Shell GPT. How did I install it? With pip, easily pip uninstall Shell GPT. Amazing.